everyone, and welcome back to DeLorean Nation. How do you guys like the uh, 40th t-shirt I'm sporting today? Thanks. So today we're going to be talking about interior. So we're going to try to cover both gray and black interior, uh, differences in carpets, differences in radios, differences in armrest extensions, and uh, whatever else I can try to point out to you guys to just show you the different combinations these cars came with. First, we're going to show you an early black interior and some of the differences on these early cars. Uh, first thing we see here is sills, sill screws. So a lot of these early cars, they screwed these sills down. You can see these screws in them. Later on, they, these are kind of unsightly, and later on they got rid of these, and we'll try to show you that on a later car. Next, moving in different style of door seal. So this is an early door seal that had kind of poorly fitting doors and these are a very squared off seal. They're known to be really pretty durable and kind of the best seals for early cars. Um, move down here and I'm gonna show you guys a, a two piece armrest extension. So this piece right here is what is considered the armrest extension and it's vinyl interior panel here with the leather extension. And these are these pieces are separated. There's two small screws through plastic that hold, secure this. And when you get in this car without being careful and you're, you sit on these, you pop it right off. And so the factory did have a fix for that. We'll show you on a later car. Give you a scan of this black interior. So a black interior car would have had black seats, black upper and lower door panel, black knee pads uh, across a black dash and a black binnacle, as well as a black console. Steering wheels were black in all cars. Um, shift plate was black in all cars. And we'll show you that in a gray interior car. Um, here's an early ashtray. It's got a much flatter top to it. It's an early coin tray, what they call this in the back, that has a uh, fuzzy flocking on it. And that went to a smooth. I'm going to pan in here and show you this is what we call a Craig radio. A Craig was the manufacturer who made this radio. Uh, and then there's a light up screen at the top of this. Let me reach in here. And this is actually a tape deck where you push the screen in and you can load your cassettes in there. And then down here on this HVAC panel, you can see the three decals down here at the bottom. There's three different versions of this, so we'll try to show you those three. And this one, you can see all three of the decals reading cooling fans, fail, rear defroster, and door lights, door locks. Pan back out. And we'll go check out a later gray. So we'll show you the differences on this gray interior 82. So first we have this sill that does not have screws in it. And this is another original style. This is another original door seal with a different style. It has this tip that it comes to uh, on later doors. Uh, next we see a one piece armrest extension. So you can see how these are all one piece. And if you look close here, I think this is hilarious. You can actually see the stitching from the leather, which is underneath this vinyl wrap so they just kind of vacuum form this vinyl or heat shrunk it over this panel uh which is kind of just a easy fix but actually does a great job of keeping this from separating uh, next we'll come over here and look at the different uh coin tray so that's smooth without any flocking on it a different factory later style ashtray uh, we'll move in here, and this is an ASI radio with a different, more obvious tape deck. If you come down, uh, this is backlighting with my light here, but you can see that there's only one decal here. And the other uh, cooling fan fail and the door lock light only come on when they're backlit. And the rest are kind of, so they're kind of blanked out with only one defrost logo. And there's no lettering on that defrost, just a logo. So I'll give you a pan of this gray interior. Again, this is another really original interior, original seats, console, dash binnacle, all that's original on this car. 
redone headliners. And I'm going to show you this is the later gray carpet with a different pile. And there's a later 82 for you. So here's a quick 83 that I'll show you guys. And this is a good example of a DeLorean.com reproduction seat covers. This is a black interior car, uh, what we would call a two-tone. So you can see it's black leather uh, and lighter gray carpets. And the most obvious place to tell that is right here, where you can see this vinyl is still gray and it transitions into black. So any other car, this would be black transitioning into black. Um, but that's where it's most obvious and looks a little bit odd there. But it is kind of nice, does a nice job of brightening up a black interior because they can be a little bit more cave-like and the lighting isn't great inside of those. I do like the look of the black and they kind of wear nice where you don't get as much browning of the dash and knee pads and, and binnacle. Um, but this carpet helps lighten it up. And, and these are pretty rare, so there's probably only a few hundred of these. I'm not sure the exact number, but uh, you don't see these very often. So there you go. That's what we call a two-tone interior from the factory. Uh, and again, replacement seats on this one. Here's one more cool option that uh, DeLorean.com has kind of offered on and off throughout the years. This is a two-tone seat. So this is a reproduction seat. Um, the factory never had two-tone seats, uh, only the leather seats and carpet would be kind of differential in cover color um but this is a two-tone seat then i'm going to zoom in here and show you this obviously has an aftermarket kenwood radio in it uh, but that's your third faceplate where it's got no decal on it and all three of those same you know buttons would illuminate from the back when a light goes on you can still see the defrost and the door locks and the cooling fan fail but uh as far as printing on the face of that hvac panel there is none Three quick additions for you here. Here's the initial pull strap that was just kind of an afterthought. So if guys were on the shorter side, it would be hard to reach up and grab the door handle. So they just put these straps on here that's just simply a ring that goes around the existing door handle. They did make a change there, we'll show you. Uh, pan and back, uh, there was a clock right here that read the time. Uh, that also got changed and then up and out here we're going to show you this is this has been redone because all cars sag but this you know a darker gray headliner material was used on the black interior cars three quick adders on the gray interior uh, and this is the 82 here's integrated pull straps where instead of just throwing a strap around the pull handle here uh, you can see an integrated one that was, you know, bolted, screwed into the door, more of a permanent fix. Panning out, here's the console with no clock. And when they changed the radio, these would read time in this display where the Craigs would not. And so there was no need for a clock. And there are some cars that had a clock here and a clock up here. So there are a few that came with two clocks. Uh, another interesting note on the door strap bezel is they used existing parts, which I thought was pretty clever. Uh, and you can see here that they used the same bezel that is used in the seat release here to tilt the seat forward. So that bezel and then this bezel over here are the same part. So this way they just had to come up with the strap and they didn't have to come up with any extra parts. Uh, and then here's an example of, again, this is a reproduction because they've all sagged, but that's the lighter gray headliner material that was used in gray cars. I'm going to show you here three different types of binnacles. So this is a vacuform binnacle that you're going to see on most cars. Um, these will split kind of right down here. Uh, this one's in nice shape, hasn't seen much UV and has not split. So here's a recovered binnacle and uh, you can tell it's it's been recovered by the stitching, baseball stitching kind of down the sides and through here. Uh, so this one did have a crack down the center and uh, it just got recovered to cover that up and refresh this interior. So here we have a factory leather wrap binnacle and you can see the same stitching here. It's not down the sides, but there is a seam down here. That's the way the factory did it. And so I kind of like recovering uh, 
you know, split binnacles because the factory did make a small number of cars with leather wrap binnacles. So it is kind of correct in a way because some cars did come that way. Um, and, and that binnacle that's vacuum formed has not been available for many years. So uh, there is no replacement. So the repair is a recover. Another quick note here on armrest extensions, and they call it an extension because this is where your armrest would be. That's where your elbow would rest uh, while driving the car. And the extension goes into this rear panel, which we see over here with the door up. And a lot of these, because the door rubs against this every time it opens and closes, you'll see wear in them like this. Whether they be vinyl or leather, these can, these can split or wear. And the factory came up with a quick fix for that that I'll show you here in a second. So here's a factory cover that they came up with to just simply cover that up. Quick, easy fix. These come in gray or black. And they, they did come in narrow or wide because there were different widths of this armrest extension as well. And this obviously just goes over and helps protect that or cover up any damage that may be underneath. So here I've laid out three different rear parcel shelf carpets to show you kind of the difference between the three carpets. They were all gray. Um, black interiors having, you know, this charcoal gray carpet that we sometimes refer to as a black carpet because it was mainly for black leather interior cars. Um, then the gray leather interior 81s would have had a carpeting that looks like this. And the gray interior 82s and 83s and a very select few of the black interior cars have what we call the two-tone interior where you could have black leather and light gray carpets like this one. And the pile, I'm going to come in close, is this is used carpets, so they're not the best example. I'll try to show you that in the videos in the car. But you can see the pile between these two carpets is different. But the biggest giveaway on an 81 versus an 82, 83 carpet is that the piping would be black on an 81 gray, light gray carpet. And it would be gray on a gray 82, 83 carpet. Few other things here worth noting so this is a reproduction ashtray from delorean.com very similar to the early style but it is a different third style so if you see this it's not an original but you will see these in cars um, and then some pro tips for you here guys this is what happens to the interior carpets when they get battery acid on them so i'm a big fan of when you store these cars which a lot of you guys may be putting them away this time of year um, remove the battery from the car because you want to avoid this. The kind of makes the acid makes the carpet turn purple and it takes all the fuzz off. Uh, this is an unavailable piece as far as getting a NOS replacement, new old stock replacement. DeLorean.com does have very nice carpet sets, uh, but if this happens to yours, you're going to have to buy the carpet in a full set to get a replacement. And uh, if you can, this is something you want to avoid. So I recommend using a battery cutoff. Uh, when you're storing them for any extended periods, it's best to remove the battery from the car. And this is just one of a few reasons I'm not a big fan of trickle chargers when the battery is in the car because they can overcharge a battery and do this to your carpet. Uh, it's a low risk, but it's an unnecessary risk as far as I'm concerned. So there's two things that will cause a battery to do this. One, if it freezes and the case cracks, and batteries, when they get discharged, they're much more prone to freezing. And two is if they boil over during a charge where uh, acid can come out the vent tubes in the battery and leak onto the carpet, causing this type of damage. Well, that's all I have for uh, DeLorean Interiors today. If there's something I missed or there's something you guys learned, let us know in the comments down below. Uh, if you're enjoying these videos, please consider liking, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. Thanks again for watching.